Welcome to this Tuesday Reflection on the 20th of October. Every Sunday, and indeed every week now, seems to have been designated to commemorating or celebrating a particularly good cause. This week is no exception. It is One World Week, founded by the World Development Movement in 1978 to provide an opportunity for people from diverse backgrounds to come together to learn about global justice. It takes place in the week that includes October the 24th, United Nations Day. And the theme for this year's One World Week is It's Our World, Let's Make It Better. My only experience of One World Week comes from the time when I I was chaplain to the Further and Higher Education Colleges in Bolton, one of the many areas in northwest England that's been in the news recently. Bolton was and is a multicultural, multi ethnic, multi faith town, and the Higher Education College prided itself on recruiting students from diverse backgrounds, both local and global. One of the highlights of the college calendar was One World Week, when this intentional diversity was celebrated, and when those from a white Christian background were reminded of the global nature of Christianity in all its myriad forms and expressions. It was here that I first came across the principle of Ubuntu, an African word that is actually Zulu, that's not easy to define or pin down, but is rich in meaning. It's been translated as I am because you are, but that doesn't really capture the true essence of what the concept is about. At its heart is something about becoming who we are in the company of others. Or, another way of putting it, a person is a person through other people. In other words, the human family is interdependent. We're shaped and changed through our encounters with one another in community. One of the finest examples of Ubuntu in action was the life of Nelson Mandela who was jailed for nearly three decades for his resistance to apartheid in South Africa, and then went on to become president between 1994 and 1999. He's remembered in no small part for his emphasis on reconciliation, bringing previously warring racial groups together and creating the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. This was foundational in creating the space in which those who'd been abused and violated during apartheid and those who had done the abusing come together, face one another, share their stories and find reconciliation and healing. In so doing, they each enabled the other to find within themselves a truer humanity. It's the principle on which a new South Africa was able to be born. Barack Obama paid tribute to Mandela and to the principles of Ubuntu in his address at Mandela's memorial. He said, This word, Ubuntu, captures Mandela's greatest gift. His recognition that we are all bound together in ways that are invisible to the eye, that there's a oneness to humanity, that we achieve ourselves by sharing ourselves with others and caring for those around us. We can never know how much of this sense was innate in Mandela or how much was shaped in a dark and solitary cell. But we remember the gestures large and small, that revealed the depth of his empathy and his understanding. For example, introducing his jailers 
as honoured guests at his inauguration, taking a pitch in a springbok uniform, turning his family's heartbreak into a call to confront HIV AIDS. Mandela not only embodied Ubuntu, he taught millions to find that truth within themselves. If we think about our own lives, it's not difficult to see how they've been shaped and influenced by others. We've discovered and are discovering who we are in relationship with one another. Through our families, the wider community in which we grew up, our school and friendship groups, and of course, our church family. We learn how to give and take, delight in one another, and come to understand that the essence of who we are is forged in community. No one is an island entire of itself, as John Donne famously put it. We need to be part of a community in order to become who we truly are. One World Week seeks to promote this sense of Ubuntu across the communities of our world, challenging us to embrace one another in peace and harmony, so that in sharing ourselves with others and receiving all that they have to share with us, we become most fully the people God created us to be.